Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm bringing you guys into my absolute horrendous garage so we can go ahead and clean it together. <laughs> this project has been a long time coming and on Labor Day, me and my fiance said, you know what, let's just go ahead and get it done and over with. So uh, stick with me, hang tight for the next 18 minutes and enjoy this video. we're just starting off with pulling out a lot of the crap and just laying it in the driveway just so that we have more space to organize and work with. <laughs> I don't sweep until the end, but we had like these white styrofoam things that came in a package and they were so annoying. So I just wanted to go ahead and get them up out of the way. Our whole goal with this garage is just to declutter as much as we possibly can. I feel like we're holding on to a lot of junk that could really just get tossed out. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going through this box, throwing out old frames and things like that. And then I came across this bag that had a bunch of really cool crystals in it. So I'm just showing them to my kids here. So it, it's really cool with what you can find when you actually go through your junk. And now I'm just gonna go in and start labeling these bins with these Avery labels that we ordered off of Amazon. They were perfect. this mess. This was the corner that our power washer was in and it was leaking some kind of product all over the floor. So I'm just wiping that up because this is where we're putting our new freezer. That looks so much better. This is the freezer that we purchased online for our garage. It's by the brand Insignia and we really just needed a spare freezer for our garage and I'm so glad that we got one. And here we are just getting a little sidetracked. That's all right, it's okay to take a break.
I don't know what it is, but there is something about labeling bins that is just so satisfying. Tony wanted to give this uh, shelf level a little bit more room, so he's going ahead and moving that shelf down one notch. All right, so this is the progress that we've made so far. We've got all these bins over here labeled. We got some seasonal clothes down there at the bottom, some winter gear, party supplies, 4th of July, Valentine's Day, and St. Patrick's. We got Halloween bins, four Halloween bins, which we're gonna be pulling those out soon. And then Easter, that's an Easter bunny that won't fit in the bin. And then some baby clothes that I am not ready to part yet with. Um, eventually we want to color coat the bins and not have like red and orange on the same rack, but we are not doing that today. That would mean we'd have to unload bins and switch them out and I'm not doing all of that. So today we're pretty much just organizing things, getting rid of stuff that we don't need, donating clothes. That stuff's going to get out of here. We are taking loads. I'm going to get ready to drive a load to the Goodwill and drop it off. I posted this stroller on Marketplace on Facebook. We have somebody coming to pick up Tony's old bed. We are just getting rid of stuff. Massive purge. Way too much stuff in this garage that we've never even used. And it's time to go. In this clip we had an empty bin and I just wanted to go ahead and make one last go around and just throw some random crap into this bin just to get it up and out of eyesight. And in my opinion, everything looks better in a clear little storage bin. So that's what I'm doing here. Just transferring the chalk that we had into this nice, clean, clear bin.
so we are all done for now. We are finished. This was hard work. It was hot, too. I was dripping sweat within, like, the first five minutes. We got it all figured out. This section over here still gives me the heebie-jeebies. I hate the way tool stuff looks. <laughs> Same with this section over here. All of these tools just right here down on these two bottom shelves. We got to figure out something else. And same with these bottles, all these products for cars, things like that. We got to find some other way to store these on this shelf because it still just looks cluttered and not organized and it doesn't make me happy. Now, these tags, on the other hand, these labels, these make my heart so happy. I'm so glad that all of my bins finally have labels. I know exactly where to go when I need these bins. These four I'm going to be pulling out shortly. These are Halloween. And then these three down here, we eventually want to phase out the clear bins. I like the clear bins, but he doesn't. He likes these sturdy ones. These ones are so much more like flimsy than these ones. These are 27 gallons. We get these from either like Lowe's or Home Depot, I believe. And they hold a lot and they're really sturdy. So he wants to get more of these. Eventually we're going to get rid of these bins. Uh, but for these holidays, we really just don't have too much decor. This is like party stuff. And then down at the bottom, we have seasonal clothes and winter gear. So we eventually want to just get everything looking uniform and, of course, bring all of the bins that have the red handles on one shelving unit and then all of the bins that have, like, the yellow caps on another shelving unit. But that'll be a project for another day because I was not about to empty out all my bins and switch them to the correct colors. So save it. But we can finally work out in here and have some space and not feel all cluttered and crammed. I'm so happy we have lots of room for activities. We can dance. You can really dance. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I posted this on Facebook Marketplace. Hopefully this goes. I posted it for like $25 just to get it out of here. We are done with this stroller. It's really in good shape. Um, so hopefully somebody comes and gets it. We had somebody come today and pick up Tony's old bed that we had in here. So finally we got that out of here. That was taking a lot of extra space. I love it when we get rid of things. This car is next. I got to go ahead and drop that off at Goodwill. I was only able to make one trip to Goodwill today before they closed, but I'm glad that I was able to make that trip because we had a lot of stuff in the trunk and in the car. It was packed to the hilt. Um, so this is going next. That car is like on its last legs. We're not even going to bother selling it just because it needs like a new battery. Um, but if Goodwill wants to do something with it, perfect, fine. These jackets up here, I think I'm going to go ahead and post them to like um, Mercari or Poshmark because they're a really good brand. And they've been like never worn. This one still has tags. This one was like never worn. Same with this one. And then these are like biz uh, suits. So maybe I'll post those and see if I can make a couple of alas. If not, they are going right to Goodwill. I'll give it a week. If I sell them within a week, they're out of here. Um, and then this right here, this is Layla's bookcase. We're going to get ready to do her room makeover video soon. So that's coming. Keep an eye out for that. We still got to pull this out and paint this bookcase. And then... We got a brand new freezer. I'm so excited that we got a freezer in the garage because we definitely needed a freezer. Our freezer now that's in the kitchen, it just doesn't hold much and we like to stock up on extra meats. And of course, I'm gonna steal one of these shelves from my ice cream. And then this bike rack, Tony got off of Amazon and it's absolutely amazing because it keeps all of the bikes just in that nice line imagine if we had to have each of these bikes like stacked on the floor it would take up so much more space so that is awesome awesome i have to actually go upstairs and pull out because i'm missing a fall sign i think i'm actually missing a bunch of fall things i'm missing some velvet pumpkins and a sign so i gotta pull that down and go up into that creepy crawl space and try and find my damn fall sign
does anyone else have an attic crawl space like this that you're just absolutely scared to go in? <laughs> it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I always feel like some kind of animal is just gonna like jump out at me. <laughs> in the past gotten a lot of questions on how I store my holiday decor and this is exactly how we store it. We pick up these bins from Lowe's and this size right here, this is the 27 gallon and then let me show you the 40 gallon over here which holds way more and they have like wheels on the bottom but this is how I store my holiday decor. Before it was all just every which way it wasn't organized. I would have to like lift up the caps to see which holiday was in which bin. And now they are labeled and organized. So that makes me very happy. So now for Halloween, which is coming up shortly, I can just come in here and just pull out this Halloween bin and just get to decorating. So all together we have four of these like scaffolding racks. I don't know what they're called. I will ask Tony and find out where he got them, but we have four of them and they're perfect for stacking things on and just getting things up and out of the way. Perfect for making the most of your space. Absolutely perfect. Same with this bike rack. I cannot rave about this anymore. It's perfect for making the most of your space. Space savers. We are just, our MO here is just to declutter and just get rid of a lot more crap. So we definitely have more work to do, but for now we are satisfied. And in two weeks, it'll have a bunch of boxes in here and more junk that we'll have to break up and get rid of. But for now it looks good. We're happy. Now we can go inside and eat dinner.